Okay. Um, how does Sir Harry feel now? Only the Queen is allowed to call me Sir. Everybody else, Harry, feel now that his hunch that foreigners could exist would exist in space has now recently been vindicated and helps explain more about the diffuse bands. David Bradley. Well, they haven't actually got to the diffuse bands yet. Um, but I, as I said earlier in the previous question, it's hard to believe that they're not involved, that CCC is not involved, because if it's not involved, then there's something else out there, even probably more exciting, um, lurking there, responsible for this. And uh, that would be really exciting as well. But by and large, the fact that it is there in space is um, quite nice. I, I like that because, uh, as I said in the Horizon program, I was pretty sure then that it must be in space. I mean, it, it has to be in interstellar space. But what I think the most recent results indicated is that there's a lot more than we expected. My friend Mike Durer at UCLA made an estimate now that from the Kami's work and other people have also detected material in space, or C60 in space, that it's about 1% of the carbon, which is amazing. It really is. And uh, so there you go. There's more C60 around than there is planet Earth. Um, there you go. It's, uh, it, it's great. I, 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 I'm obviously very pleased and, and also that there's so many exciting things to do in the future uh, to disc see where C60 is and to try to understand the way in which C60 is involved in the interstellar medium because it's got to be made in, in a star. I don't think it can be made in the interstellar media, I don't see that's possible. It's got to be made at a point where carbon is, is nucleating very rapidly, and the, I always thought that our core Borealis stars, RCB stars, were the place with a lot less hydrogen and more helium, but you know, some of these objects have quite a lot of hydrogen in. And that indicates that we really don't understand carbon that well yet, because you would have expected that if there was still a lot of hydrogen around, that carbon would go off in some other direction, but it looks like the conditions in these stars, even though there's hydrogen, are such that they favour C60. So it's very exciting. Obviously, I'm quite satisfied with that last there wrong at the end of that Horizon program.